What is up, guys? It's the Sound Alchemist. And actually, I know what is up. And it's not a good thing. So, of course, today is July the 11th. It is a pre order for the infamous box set of 9th edition Indomitus. It pits the Primaris Marines against the new Necrons, as well as having the rule book for 9th edition. And of course, everybody was eyeing this like hotcakes. Because <laughs> everybody likes hotcakes, and that's exactly how it sold. So, pre orders went live in the UK, and it sold out within 15 minutes. Pre-orders went live here in the U.S., and it sold out within 15 minutes. So, if you're one of the lucky few who managed to grab a pre-order, congratulations. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I could not. However, I'm like, that's alright. I'll just head over to the uh, Warhammer store, and I'll pre-order it there in person. Because surely, they have certain slots allocated for in-person pre-orders. But no, the sadness grows deeper. <laughs> because our local GW store, unfortunately, is closed for the weekend. Um, and that just means that if we travel further out to the nearest one, there's going to be more people there to pre-order it, less chances for us to get in there and grab our own uh, pre-orders. So it is indeed sad boy hours for your boy, the Sound Alchemist, <laughs> and any others in the area, I guess. Uh, or any others in general, because you can no longer find it at the GW um, Warhammer store, either brick or online, which means you'd have to travel to other avenues, such as uh, other game stores, or even eBay, Craigslist, that kind of stuff. But of course, it's sold out, so you know what that means. People are going to be pricing the heck out of it. So, I'll tell you something. If you need it that badly, um, and if you got the money, I mean, sure, why not? But, seeing as how GW kind of fumbled the ball on this one, they're, uh, they're definitely going to be putting out maybe a second wave, or maybe they're going to be putting out... Um, the models separately in box sets so that you know they can appease the war gamers because a lot of people are not happy especially with the reveal yesterday or a few days ago on the warhammer app how it is a subscription based and you're basically playing five bucks a month people were not happy about that at all especially uh with like the features that they talked about again if you guys want to learn more about that i'll link it at the end of the video so you guys can check it out so people already weren't happy about that and then gw which they did say it was going to be a limited run but they kind of assured everybody that hey it'll be available for everyone they limited the amount you could buy from like six down to three and even then it sold out within 15 minutes that's crazy man that is crazy so yeah things may seem bleak right now but I'm pretty sure GW's gonna, you know, Wave 2 is gonna come out soon, or they're gonna do something or other to get these models in people's hands, as well as the rule book. Because that's a big thing. If you wanted to play 9th edition, that's where you could get the rule book. However, there might be one silver lining throughout all this, and that is that time and time again, GW has specifically stated that this box set is not a starter set. No, no, no. Even though it looks like it on the outside, even though it's got a starter set for 9th edition, this is not meant to be a Warhammer 40k starter set box kit. This, from what they've said, is for experienced players, players who've played the game. This is like a thank you box set. Like, you know how to play, here's some two armies that you can play, go have fun, make interesting lists, that kind of thing. Um, so it's interesting, because of course, throughout every edition, they've always come out with a starter kit box. Um, so does that mean there's going to be another one coming out in the coming weeks? Maybe that's why this was so limited in the amount of box sets that they created? Who knows? But if that is the case, um, usually with box sets, 
or starter kits for that matter, you have your like, um, I think they also have a ruler here, but you have like a, a ruler, you've got some dice, you've got some like uh, objectives and stuff like that. Uh, a mini rule book, which I don't have in this one. So there's a few things that aren't 100% um, the same thing. I mean, yeah, you got a core rule book, but you don't have like a mini rule book. Um, so maybe there's going to be a different box set, kind of like how in 8th edition we had the starter kit, and then we had like No No Fear, and a whole bunch of different box sets like that. So maybe that's to come later on. How soon? I don't know. But yeah <laughs> they've got a, a lot of work to do to uh, make everybody happy so if they do come with a new starter kit will it have the same models will it be different models um, because for example let's say you were waiting to get to the outriders the biker units and since this is sold out there's no other way to get it besides like third party so maybe when the starter box set comes out then you'll have the Outriders in there, but on that off chance that maybe you just get the Captain, the uh, Blade Guard Veterans, and the uh, Close Combat Primaris, then you're kind of out of luck, because yeah, the price point's going to be less, which it's more accessible to people starting off, um, then you're kind of out of luck still, because your Outriders that you were looking so forward to play, because those things are crazy good, 14 inch movement, like 5 wounds, those are good, because usually bikers are 12 inch movement, but no, they're primaris, they gotta be top of the line, cute face, slim waist, big behind, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's Mike Jones from, oof, we were in what, middle school, but anyway, yeah, so, if there is a starter kit coming out, it's definitely gonna be cheaper in price point, so that newer players can get into it, learn the rules, start playing, um, but again, that means less models, so, I don't know, man. I don't know. Things are looking uh, sketchy, <laughs> to say the least. Because, yeah, if they do take out models, they definitely have to be putting out box sets for those models separately. Because um, I know a lot of people only want a few units in here. A lot of people only want, like, the Primaris half or the Necron half. So, at the end of the day, you you will be able to find these models because... A bunch of YouTubers already got the box early, they're doing giveaways, um, other places have already pre-ordered, and they've got pre-orders uh, set aside, so if people want to buy them, on the slim chance that they still have them left, you could go to, to like a brick and mortar store, and of course, eBay, um, just be careful, because they're going to price gouge <laughs> the crap out of this box set, so, um, all is not lost, I'll tell you that, so... There are ways, you just gotta think outside the box, or be patient, because who knows, they might release this later on. You know? So, again, you know, stay true to your word, the Emperor protects, and you'll be able to play with your models. In the meantime, playtest, proxy, uh, bust out your old school classic marines that are not going out of style, but they're going out of style. So, playtest, see if you like them, if you do, then you know what to expect. Um, so, again, all is not lost. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick update that if you're seeing this video, it's too late. <laughs> Maybe. Um, but, yeah, so let me know your guys' thoughts below. Do you think GW should have made way more? Do you think this was just a ploy to get people to jump in it, you know, tag limited release on it so people can jump in and they can, you know, make a bunch of money on these box sets and then kind of just hold the uh, restocks in front of your faces to shell out more money. I don't know. Maybe it was just handled wrong. Maybe I'm reading too deep into it. But yeah, this is some pretty bad news for all of us war gamers who are ready to pre-order today. Um, so yeah. It is what it is, guys. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one with better news, more positive news, because 2020, oh, the things you do to me. But yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. Hit that like button. <laughs> At least that'll be something positive. Um, subscribe for more things Warhammer 40k. And as always, I've been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.